in. So it's just this rectangular piece. So I'm going to start with just that light vertical. Again, using the ruler in, in place of a T-square and a triangle, just giving me the lines lining up here and here on the bottom of the page, and giving myself this vertical top piece, so from here to here. <clears throat> Very simple is, this, is to take the top of the line segment, put the pencil there, rotate it, to make sure you go to your vanishing point, which is here, up at the top, and I'm just making a line segment, not all the way, but just enough to see it where I have to go. So I could either put the pencil at the rotation of the point or vice versa. And that gives me that side of it. <clears throat> Do the same on the right hand side. Here's the point, put the straight edge there. Align this vanishing point up to the right. Here it is here. But just make the line segment to the depth that you need. You're not going to need it all the way. Okay, I'm just making it heavy so you can see the blue on the screen. So there it is up to this point. By putting the pencil down, it gives you something to lean up against on the by rotating it that way. So there's the two, two sides of the shape. Angular perspective, that's the angle that's hitting the picture plane. And now I just have to create the vertical sides of this one. So I'm going to make it about this large, lining it up at the vertical segment here for that one. <clears throat> and then kind of coming across almost even, not really measuring it, just kind of estimating it. So now I have both the left and the right side finished. From the tops of these line segments right here, these two line segments, this one goes to the left, this to the right. So just put your pencil right there. And not all the way, just enough to estimate the distance it's going to take to cover that one. And do the same on this side. Very simple set up there. And again, as I do the pen line, still trying to get you to take a look. That's the linear. So the light of the paper is going to be your actual highlight. And again, you can use an edge of a piece of paper, a scrap piece of paper.